sich im Zuhörermodus. Welcome everybody out there here to our next webinar at uh, JFT Bank. Uh, my name is Stefan Friedrichowski, as always, for those kind of webinars. Sorry for the short delay here because um, I've had some technical problems with the webinar platform. Just the login doesn't work and uh, now I got it, but it was really the um, last thing to manage that. So sorry for the short delay. Um, but le nevertheless, let's start as usual. You see, we talk about uh, today, we talk about JFD Invest, who is, uh, which is a quite cool platform for um, trading copy systems for uh, your personal investment, your personal wealth management. And I simply will tell you what it's about and how it works. And uh, of course, we have, uh, as always, two special topics today. Uh, one is the uh, top performer of last week's because you will see you can select strategies. We have 11 in place. And uh, as always, there's one top performer of last week. And uh, that one will be or has been Galileo last week. So we talk about Galileo, that kind of strategy. That might be an interesting for your personal portfolio as well. But nevertheless, we additionally will talk about my JFD Invest portfolio, because if you see that, then you can see exactly what you might do with your own JFD Invest account. But let's let's get really started here. And um, so overall, and uh, normally I have those pictures already uh, here, um, but uh, now I have to start them. <laughs> Sorry, that's an additional delay because I need uh, that extra time here. But anyhow, so um, let me switch to English. Uh, that's easier for everybody here to follow. And that's the uh, JFD homepage, you know, and then we have investing and JFD Invest, and then we are already there. So JFD Invest, and let's to to really start uh, to to get you into that kind of topic you see we have top performing strategies that means those strategies you see in that summary here might be yours as well because you can follow those strategies with your jfd invest account so it's quite easy and how to do those steps, I will explain in a second. But first, um, I think you are interested in what kind of numbers do we do we have here? You see that we uh, have the top performing strategies, uh, their name, their return, which is about for one year. And later we could go into the details and you can see exactly how long it took uh, to get 80% return on that kind of strategy. Then you see uh, another quite important number, which is uh, equity balance deviation. Maybe you are not that familiar with that key figure, but it's really important. Um, uh, the difference between equity and balance is exactly open trades. Um, that means balance is always your your uh, account uh, with all close trades. So just what's uh, mm, how much money is available. Equity includes all the open trades. And there might be a difference. Uh, think about your open or regular, just a normal trade. Then, uh, yeah, of course, uh, the trade might be positive or negative. And those negative trades might be a little bit more. Um, and uh, that means exactly that equity balance deviation. So we have to keep that in mind because uh, that number shows you how much minus you might have temporarily for a given strategy. So, yeah. So that's uh, um, an important key figure because uh, for me personally, I always look for the quotient of those two numbers. Uh, and then normally you get the statement like, um, the more risk, the higher is the potential return uh, as usual. But if you want to start with JFD Invest, it's really simple. You only have to uh, sign up uh, a JFD Invest profile um, and you can do that uh, exactly uh, um, on the same web page under the sign up button. Uh, later, we will use the guest access because then you can go 
uh, into the platform already just as a guest, uh, because then you can see a little bit more details than just on the web page. Next step might be that you open a, a real JFD Invest account. Uh, that's a special account, um, special conditions in terms of leverage. The leverage here is 1 to 100 because you follow professional traders. That's the one difference. And the other difference is you cannot do your own trades in terms of, oh, I want to open a trade, Euro, US dollar long. No, that's something you can't do, but um, uh, you can follow those strategies on uh, the web page here and later we will see some more of them. Finally, you do the next two steps. You connect your profile with your account and then you can start following any trading strategy. And first of all, uh, let's have a look to, to what has been the highlight of last week because uh, that's interesting as well uh, and you will have it uh, here. So. The Galileo strategy has been the top performer of last week. And um, even just one week, it earned close to 2% uh, profit, which is uh, quite well result for one week, as you can think. And you see already here the equity. Still, it's a little bit small here, but later we can get more details about the strategy. I just want to give you an impression of how that might look like if you have that strategy in your account, because then you participate one-to-one. -one. So the good thing is that you you do your own portfolio management, mean, meaning you say how much money you allocate for that strategy, or you say what kind of risk uh, should be involved in terms of after how much losses the strategy uh, might stop out, out of your portfolio. All those things you can do directly on the web um, platform. And yeah, let's get in. So first, Let's have a look just as a guest. That's exactly what you can do all the time, everywhere. Uh, and even if you are not a client of JFD, and uh, if you don't have any um, profile at uh, JFD Invest. You see, once again, the same kind of strategies, uh, but now all of them, uh, up to now, we have in total 11. So we have already one on the second page here. And uh, with, in April, there will be a couple of new ones um, being launched here. But that means talking about being launched here, those strategies must have already a quite good track record. Otherwise, they would not be launched at uh, JFD Invest. So all of those strategies um, run through a review process before they are actually being um, put into JFD Invest so that you or anybody else can follow those kind of strategies. So there's a there's a team of people behind um, reviewing and um, yeah. Uh, and the other thing is a couple of those strategies are directly from my end. Uh, so it's about half of them. Nevertheless, we talk about Galileo already a little bit, but now let's use Galileo as an example. How you can really dive into JFD Invest and how to can set up your own portfolio because I personally would not directly go to, uh, oh, I look to the, to the numbers, 80%, that's mine, I follow that. No, uh, at least I personally have a, a different view on that. Of course, I do a review process before I go into any of those strategies. And that's just by clicking them and then we once again have that growth as in the email we sent around as a new newsletter. And uh, of course, we can see once again the 80%. And now you see how long it took. It's a little bit more than one year uh, to get that 80%. And it's you see already it's quite straight, but sometimes we have... Um, we have uh, dips uh, to the south here. Um, uh, let's talk about that because what we see here is the equity growth. That means including all open trades. And I mentioned already that the equity balance deviation, that, that including or the, the difference of open trades uh, to your balance is quite important. And therefore, we have a button here for that as well. And then you can see there has been a point in time um, exceeding 20%. Uh, okay, 
there might be people who say, okay, no, I don't like strategy anymore because uh, that is too much for me. Or they'll say, no problem. Uh, I create a portfolio and that will be one of those. Uh, so the 20% of the individual strategy in my overall portfolio, I'm following maybe uh, five strategies with the same amount of money. Uh, then the 20% would already uh, reduce to 4%. So that's the idea of portfolios and diversification. You will later see my personal JFD Invest account. And I did exactly that. And uh, I managed up to now to have um, an overall equity balance deviation, so floating losses uh, of not more than 8% uh, in that portfolio. But you see, you get all the information you need in order to decide, is that strategy something for me? Yes or no. You have the monthly return turntable, which is almost green, which is always brilliant. Um, and uh, you can see how that uh, goes over time. You can see statistics over the trades. And last thing I want to share with you is um, you can see the traded instruments. That's something I like as well, to know exactly what the strategy is trading, what kind of instruments. Why I think that is important. On the one hand, it might be that you have personal preferences, like um, you don't trade ducks or you trade ducks or you don't like uh, commodities, trading of commodities for whatever reason, then you can see what instruments are traded. Uh, and in this case, we see that uh, half of the, or, um, there are two instruments, one is Euro US dollar and the other one is British pound US dollar. Later, you will see that currently in my overall portfolio, I, I'm not invested in Galileo as we speak. And during the last webinars, I, I um, shared with you my thoughts behind. And the reason has been, we know that we have the ongoing Brexit discussion in UK. Um, so from time to time, there might be, or not from time to time, there are always there, there are movements uh, in everything related to British pound. And my personal fear is a little bit, maybe there's one move, one big one we don't like. And if that would be into the wrong direction, if we have open trades, um, therefore I'm at least a little bit hesitating with everything um, related to British pound. Nevertheless, there's still one strategy. We have some British pound trades in my personal JFD Invest account, but you see, I'm following those kind of strategies still means you are involved. You are involved in terms uh, or in a way like a portfolio manager because you do that selection process and so you can set your own preferences and that's exactly what we like and uh, um, we invite everybody to do here to, to be still part of that game um, in, in order to control risk allocation and uh, strategy diversification. For us it means we 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 want to be as transparent as possible. Therefore, we, we give you all the relevant details, um, key figures of that strategy, traded instruments. And if you have a profile, uh, then already you can see all close positions. So that's um, a great thing as well. If you have an account, then you see, of course, all the open positions as well. So you can you get all the information you need in order to make your own decisions. And now let's let's do some decisions. Now let's do a review process of my personal JFD Invest account because then I can show, because today I want to change a little bit uh, the account portfolios. So you can directly see how it works if you have your own profile and your own um, uh, and your own uh, JFD Invest account. So let me log in uh, here um, and um, now we see my personal JFD Invest account and that is a portfolio account because right now as we speak I follow six different strategies and I started uh, that account was the very beginning of JFD Invest 
and you know now okay there has been a starting date of JFD and West but the strategies are even older so we have track records which go uh, before JFD and West because those accounts uh, have been opened uh, uh, earlier than JFD and West and those accounts we use for JFD and West so starting in September now we have um, beginning of April and you see in total, okay, my overall growth is uh, above 40%, which is a remarkable result for uh, seven months of trading. And finally, what you have to do is just select the strategies. Then everything else is done directly at JFD. So you don't need any extra computer. You don't need a computer which is 24 hours, seven days a week. Um, online, nothing. Everything is directly managed at JFD, so no additional uh, servers are needed. And you can do that kind of allocation process even wherever you are, even on holidays. You just need access to, to the internet and then you can log in as I did here. So you can control everything everywhere. That's brilliant and great. How did I achieve such a result? Okay, I mentioned I have a portfolio. Um, and let's have a quick view on my current allocation here. And then you can see last week we invested in Hyperion, uh, which has some floating losses. As you can see, the difference between the two numbers, balance and equity here, um, and uh, five other strategies. So my total invested sum is 12,000 up to now, and uh, I have unallocated money, uh, just 200 euros. That means if I would try to follow any new strategy, I first have to stop um, others first, because otherwise it doesn't work. And my idea, and that's what I want to share and show here with you, is I want to follow to uh, one uh, strategy, and uh, the strategy I have in mind is FX Global. Let's uh, do that selection in a second, but I will already stop two strategies because that takes uh, um, one or two minutes, then I can later reinvest. So what I do is I stop um, PowerFX right now, so uh, stop allocation, and that's the process you do, and that's, as I mentioned, um, that's how you do portfolio management. Now what you see live here is I stop the one, um, and you see it's now under uh, um, execution, and later I get a notification about uh, um, that it has been executed. And I will stop Vulcano as well. Um, and the, you will see the reason I need 3K um, for the new strategy I have in mind I want to follow. Um, and I mentioned already, the strategy I have in mind is FX Global Performance. I know, because I did all those reviews already, that there's British Pound once again uh, incorporated in that strategy, but um, I don't want to wait anymore with all those Brexit uh, discussions. So I I go here a little bit more on risk um, following uh, that strategy. You see the overall behavior of the strategy. Now you see that I get the notification that uh, the one strategy has been stopped. So that is already completed. And let's first have a view on FX Global Performance. Um, you see straight up, then uh, one or two months, uh, more or less horizontal. Then there was a real drawdown, uh, so no floating losses. This was a real drawdown uh, in February, and now we're covering straight. So since the uh, short-term behavior once again looks great, uh, I want to um, be part of that uh, strategy. And uh, nevertheless, as I mentioned, I have always looked to the traded instruments, and uh, now you can see, okay, um, is there is British pound involved, yes, but only one of uh, the three symbols here. Um, additionally, you can see that the strategy has already executed more than 1,000 trades, so there are statistics behind. Um, so I can trust the strategy, and here you can see all the closed trades of uh, that strategy. So that's really uh, cool that you have all the information. Yeah, and now how to do that process of, process of starting 
following a new strategy. It's quite simple. I just have to press a button, follow. But uh, I want to tell you a little bit more. What does it mean technically? If I follow that strategy, it means that all new trades which are opened in that master account are directly copied according to my preferences into my JFD Invest account. And that's exactly the process behind. It's a kind of copy of mirror trading, uh, as I call it, social media trading or social trading, whatever you name it. The trades are directly copied into my account as additional trades. And that's what I want to achieve here. Now I have as a confirmation stopping um, the other one. That's great. And I can start following the strategy. Before, and that's one step I did uh, before the webinar, I went already to the details. And within the details, you can see the minimum investment sum you need for a given strategy. And in this case, it's 3K. So starting with 3K, you can follow that strategy. And now I have 3K available in my account, so I can go for that. And you see another number. And I want to mention that as well. Performance fee. Hey, oops, what does that mean? Performance fee um, means, okay, there are fees involved, but nothing like management fees or anything upfront or uh, however you call it. No, it's only if the strategy is earning money and I am earning money, I have to pay that kind of fee. Uh, the logic behind is what's called high watermark. And that means only if I reach on the month's end space uh, new highs, I have to pay fees, but only. Uh, so if a strategy would earn 1,000, then I would have to pay 250 uh, euro. The strategy goes back 1,000 and starting um, once again, uh, uh, having once again 1,000 uh, profits, then I don't have to pay because I don't reach new highs. And only if we have um, 10 euros more, then I would have to pay for the extra, so 2.5 euros. So that's high watermark, so only reaching new highs um, means I have to pay performance fee. Let's go for that now for the strategy. And you see um, amount to allocate is 3K, available balance is uh, 3, uh, so that fits. And what you can do else is you can apply what's called a risk management. And uh, that uh, risk management means you can set a level here. If that level would still be at 10%, it would mean that if that strategy would lose 300 euros, I would automatically be stopped out, meaning all open trades are closed and um, strategy is not um, anymore allocated in my portfolio. You may think, is that good or not? Hmm, um, two opinions, of course, but if you um, don't want to have too much risk, of course, you can set levels here as well. And I want to set that level at 50%. Let's go for that accept terms and conditions, and then get another question. Do you really want to start? And now I have started that strategy in my JFD Invest account. So you see how easy it is? So that's all. All we have to do is selecting strategies um, here from, from the overall pre-selected uh, strategies. Allocate a given amount of money, setting up the risk level, and then everything is done directly at uh, JFD Bank, and that's brilliant. So we don't have to care anymore about that. Still, I'm involved because I want to be active in my portfolio selection process uh, and uh, just to control how I want to diversify my, my investment. Let's go back to my account. Um, so, of course, we don't will see big changes uh, because strategy has just started. But what I want to mention here as well is exactly once again the fees. Because you might have thought, hey, oops, the return is uh, more than 40%. But if you look to the balance of my account, uh, I earned up to now, let's say, uh, 3,000 euros. Hey, where's the difference? That's exactly the performance fee. But hmm, you may still think, is that high or no? Uh, no, uh, 
I have no problems uh, to, to pay that fee here uh, because I still have earned more than 3K uh, and that within seven months uh, was an overall investment of 10K. So yeah, that's a good result, I think. Um, and uh, I can live with the performance fees uh, uh, of that amount and especially if they are high watermark. So what you can do with your portfolio and that's, that is a portfolio here, you can analyze the portfolio in the same way than you analyze a given strategy. And that's quite cool. You could just have to press view um, uh, performance here and uh, then um, it will start and hopefully pop up in a second. Yes, uh, here we are. And then we can do the same analysis then with a given strategy. And now let's have a look to equity balance deviation for my portfolio. So that's not a master account in terms of its strategy. No, it's my JFD Invest account. And now you can see what I have achieved with diversification of different strategies. Okay, yes, there has been a point in time and that was the 12th of November and I have had an um, equity balance deviation of close to 8%. So temporarily, there have been losses of about 800 euros in my account. But overall, overall you can see um, I managed quite well. So um, the average number would be maybe less than 2%. So that's a really remarkable result, having profits of more than 40 and an average uh, drawdown of about 2%. Whew, yeah, that's a really cool result and that you can only achieve with a really good diversification. That I currently have a minus is... Yeah, it's, it's uh, almost 100% uh, only related to the strategy Hyperion, which I follow since last week, because there are open trades uh, on DAX and uh, Dow Jones, which are short trades. And um, yeah, they are in the minus as we speak. So, um, but let's see next week uh, where we are uh, next week. So that's what you can achieve with JFD Invest. You have your personal wealth management uh, tool here and uh, this is really cool and you can do all the same steps i did here within that webinar uh, by your own if you have a profile and then jfd invest account then you can act as a portfolio manager select the strategies you like which run successfully through your review process and then allocate the right amount of money and the right risk level for the strategy that's all you have to do. And then the rest is done by all the other people behind. Uh, and that's uh, quite great. Yeah, that's for now. I hope you enjoyed the uh, short webinar here. Next week, we will have a view as well, as always. And let's see how what new strategies we can offer and uh, how the portfolio performs uh, one week later. So that's for now. And uh, have a good time. Enjoy the sun. Hopefully, you have sun as well as I have here, uh, close to Dresden. And uh, yeah, see you next week. Bye bye.